Now that will actually help the temperature overnight tonight not get quite as cold. Seas around 2 to 4 feet and the winds will be from the north around 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we look ahead uh, through the weekend, I'm going to go with about a 40% coverage of storms for Saturday and for Sunday. A better chance of rain in the forecast is coming on Friday. And we'll talk about that with you Sunday forecast next. Right now I want to show you uh, something they were doing yesterday. Of course, uh, the uh, Florida Blood Centers was out here and the uh, 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 folks were doing a blood drive. And the group that was doing this blood drive is called the Medical Magnet and we're going to be talking to them about 715. But what this group is, is literally in, at their high school level, they're wearing not only their scrubs, but literally going on clinicals and doing rounds with other folks in the medical industry to kind of get a taste of what that field is like so they can decide after high school if they want to pursue that into college careers and then uh, make a life career out of it, whether it's a nurse, a doctor, or anything in the medical field. So really cool in the course of Florida Blood Center. Thank you guys for being out here yesterday, and uh, thank you to all the students who donated blood, by the way. That was not a, a trial run. They were really donating, and uh, from what I understand, it was a big turnout yesterday. The room was full when we were in there shooting the video yesterday morning. Now, I'll have more for you coming up. Your 70 forecast is next. Right now, take a look at your weather, baby. This is Madeline Kaufman out of DeBerry. Sounds as if. <laughs> it is 5.55, time for weather and traffic. Back to back on the fives, I just don't know about this. Jim, you know, it did. they did have before. It was the science, the grossology of man and their sounds that they, the offensive uh, sounds uh, at the bottom. Really? Yeah, so now we're and sure then, what you're talking and about. And is it ironic that Christine is doing this live shot this morning? Wow. <laughs> I'm going to call her Fitting. right now and tell her you said that. Too late. She's listening. Trust me, the text messages will be going off in a minute. Right, Chris? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, let's talk about uh, we're live at Apopka High School. This is Dewey the darter, by the way, the mascot, the blue darter. And uh, we're going to talk with our Student Government Association at uh, 605. want to show you the forecast for today. Obviously, quite cold this morning, but not as cold as yesterday morning. So it's getting better. We're about 51 in Orlando, mid 40s everywhere else this morning to get started. As you take a look, forecast for today, 52 at 9 a.m., a lot of high clouds to start the day. We'll go with the 20% coverage of just sprinkles, not storms and not heavy rain, but just a sprinkle or two is possible later this afternoon on our way to 64 for a high. Seven-day forecast, well, get ready for wet weather on Friday. We'll go 70% coverage of storms. And then even over the weekend, I'm going 40% coverage both Saturday and Sunday. Cooler weather on Sunday and Monday coming in with highs in the 60s. So uh, quite an interesting forecast over the next couple of days, but up to 64 today and a lot of high cloud cover. Quickly, we'll say hi to the Student Government Association. You're going to be seeing them in just about 10 minutes. And right now, it's traffic time. Here is Nick Boggs. Good morning. I'm for the Highway Patrol reporting just a month. I introduce you to Samantha Rizzo and Shelby Hageman, and they're with our art club. And tell me a little bit about these pieces, real quick. We got about 20 seconds. Okay, this is entanglement, and it's pretty interesting. It's just showing the different colors entangled. And tell me about this triangle piece here. This is really cool. A center of balance and repetition of the triangle shapes, and even in the negative space, you can see the triangles. I wonder how. Do you know how long that took to make? Um, about two weeks. That's really cool. Two weeks, Tom and Trey, to make that piece right there. Got the Student Government Association coming up next, and uh, we will be talking to them about 6.15, as well as a continuation of your weather and traffic on the fives. Let's find out what's happening on the roads right now. Looks pretty good from Sky. And actually, we're talking amongst ourselves about American Idol, so keep talking. I'll get back with you in a minute. I'm kidding. You could guys. be the next American Trey. Idol. I stump Trey every time. She just doesn't know what to say, do you? <laughs> you know, uh, we're going to talk to a couple SGA students in just a moment. Let me get you a forecast real quick for today. Apopka High School is where we're at, our cool school of the week, home of the Blue Darters, and it is a cool start to the day, at least thankfully not as cold as it was yesterday morning. 47 in Leesburg and also around Melbourne. you got 45 around Gainesville and 50 around the Orlando Metro, but most of the burbs, they're in the mid-40s this morning. Satellite and radar this morning is showing uh, it's trying to rain on us, but thankfully we're dry enough in the lower levels that it's not actually reaching the ground. So we'll only go with the 20% coverage of a sprinkle or two. No storms and uh, no heavy showers. On the coast today, you're making your way to about 62 degrees. We'll say a lot of clouds are with you for the whole day. Just a few breaks of sunshine. North winds will be 5 to 10 miles per hour. And the seas will build a little bit from yesterday to about 2 to 4 feet. And at times a little bit choppy as we head towards uh, more of inclement weather in the next couple days, especially on Friday, which we'll talk about coming up. 62 uh, around noon. We're on our way to a high of 64 degrees. I want to introduce you to our SGA president, Angel Laws. You Come on now. Is that really your name? Yes. 
And tell me some of the cool things that are going on in SGA right now. Um, well, we recently had our homecoming that was back in October. Uh, one of our biggest projects was Dewey's Holiday Wish, where we went out into the community and raised money to be able to bring gifts to underprivileged kids. So we're working hard all the way through the year. And how do you... Uh, vote is yours electronic or are there hanging chads anything like that or do you have to campaign money yeah, we have the campaign not money <laughs> but it is electronic so. that's very cool i was just playing with you and then also this is lauren klein she is our senior class president and a homecoming queen she didn't want to say it. Come back out here live. I want you to see it. This is Lauren. And uh, tell me now, we have a, a lot of Florida natives that uh, have gone to Florida schools and, of course, then come to work for Fox 35, one of which uh, our weekend weather girl is a Gator girl, Christy Powers. Where are you thinking you might end up at school? I find out from Florida on Friday, so we'll see about that. So she may be a Gator girl, may not. We're not sure yet, but, of course, in both uh, senior years, do you know where you think you might be headed? I'm not sure right now. I'm looking at a couple of places. Maybe Florida State. Florida State might be a Seminole. Uh oh, it could be a rivalry amongst the SGA here, but of course, both at the meantime are blue darters and very outstanding girls. So thank you guys for getting up with us early this morning and thank you for not oversleeping. I really appreciate <laughs> that. So I didn't have to stand out here by myself. Let's talk traffic right now. Ken Smith, how's it going, buddy? No, going good this morning here. Wednesday morning, we're taking another look at the 408. Tori out of Orlando. Shh, she's sleeping. Isn't that a cute weather, baby? Thank you, Sartori family, for getting that to us. Go to the morning section of our website and click on myfoxorlando.com to upload all your weather baby information. We show two a day every day at 45 after the hour. I want to talk with our uh, students here from yearbook and newspaper staff. Tell me your name and grade. Josh Flannery. I'm a senior. I'm Kristen Burge. I'm a senior. I'm Rebecca Roberts. I'm a senior. And the girls are with our yearbook staff here putting together the, uh, I guess, is this going to be the last one for this school or will the new school be built in time? Um, I think okay. there's the going to be, one. oh, I thought this was the last one. This one? It's before, last one before construction starts. All right, and tell me on the newspaper, Tom and Trey, you got to hear this. Our newspaper staff were actually working on a really cool story. Tell me what you guys have just published. Uh, in this uh, this month's issue, we did an editorial on uh, the Saddam video and whether or not the release was uh, moral or immoral. Of actually showing the video here yeah. in the U.S.? Impressive. Yeah. Very cool. So uh, we're going to have to grab that paper and bring it back. I want to definitely read it. Do you think you're headed for a career in journalism? I don't know yet. Still figuring it out? Yeah. Stay with the newspaper. The hours are better. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about, you know, then again, some of them work kind of late to get that morning edition out, don't they? Ken Smith, let's talk traffic right now. You know about those hours. Oh, I know all too well about these early morning hours. So cool, cooler weather is on the way back after a warm day tomorrow at 79 degrees. Now, back out here live, these are your Apopka singers. You know, the alarm clock is so brutal, especially when you have to do it every day. And we know you do if you're watching our show. So why don't we sing you awake this morning? We'll get the alma mater of the Apopka High School. In the hearts of all the students who attend these hallowed halls, there are thoughts of sweet devotion as our memories recall. All the moments spent together through each glorious time. Our Popka singers this morning singing the alma mater of the high school. We thank you guys so much for getting up with us, and we got plenty more for you live for the next two hours right here from Apopka High School. Let's talk traffic right now with Ken Smith, see what's happening on the roads this morning. Yeah, we're continuing to follow breaking news this morning, a Fox 35 traffic alert along the... ...that starts at 10 o'clock this morning. Now this afternoon, our cool school of the week, Apopka High School, breaks ground on its new building, Orange County Public Schools, holding a groundbreaking ceremony for the brand new Apopka High School at 3 p.m. today. The new building is going to be built right next to the current campus. The ceremony is on West Martin Street in Apopka. Again, it starts at 3 p.m. 7.05, time for weather and traffic back-to-back -back on the fives at our cool school of the week. That's right. Here's Fox 35 Weather Authority Jim Van Fleet at Apopka High School. I've been wondering all morning, what is a blue darter? Uh, it's a bird, actually. That's uh, what a blue darter is. I was asking, is it a hawk? And they said it kind of in that family. It's uh, really a beautiful bird, actually. In fact, come here. Come here. I'll show you what a blue darter is. Come here, Dewey. Get over here. Dewey. This is a blue darter right here. This is what a uh, beautiful bird looks like. Of course, Dewey's been up since about 4 o'clock this morning. 
Now you know. Let's yes, talk about thank the weather. You. Thank you, hon. Let's talk about the uh, forecast for today. A cool start this morning in the 40s for a lot of the suburbs. We'll say about 50 at the bus stop with high clouds this morning. Thankfully, not as cold as it was yesterday morning, but it is getting better. We're on our way to about 64 degrees in Orlando, just forecasting a 20% coverage of a sprinkle today. And then the end of the week, it does look wet by Friday. And even the weekend, there'll be some scattered showers and storms, uh, about a 40% coverage. But this morning, this is your student body of Apopka High School. In fact, if we can take a real wide shot real quick, you can see they are awake this morning, getting ready to report to class. And we got a lot for you coming up the next two hours here from Apopka High School. Right now, let's check traffic and see what's happening on the roads. Yeah, and good morning again. We're continuing to follow this breaking traffic news story here along a stretch of the 408 westbound approaching Cimarron Boulevard. The two left-hand lanes still shut. Yeah, 60 at noon on the coast, 62 will be the high with a light north wind about 5 to 10 miles per hour. We will see our low tide coming up around lunchtime today. Looking ahead forecast over the uh, the next couple days is going to call again for a little bit wetter weather and as we head into the weekend we're going to forecast about a 40% uh, coverage of storms on Saturday and Sunday. Today though just 20% coverage expected. Now this uh, program that I'm going to talk about is called the Medical Magnet Program. And first let me get your name and grade. Christina and I'm in 12th grade. Lewis and I'm a senior at Apopka High School. Angel Laws and I'm a senior. Now tell me a little bit about what this program does here at Apopka High School. Very unique to the school. This program kind of lets you get a feel for a branch that you might want to work in. You get to go to different hospitals or clinics and try different things that you can maybe interest you and it lets you shadow people to see if that's what you're going to like. So you're on the high school level already learning about the medical industry in hospitals, in clinics, and even before you take a college course, you're getting school credit for it in high school, right? Yes, sir. It's a very unique program. It offers absolutely everything possible. We learn about everything from how we should conduct ourselves in the clinical field, how we should act around patients, giving vitals, everything which is necessary yeah. for a starting career in the medical field, and it's very unique. It sounds like it. Of course, you see they're wearing scrubs. I'm going to come around here to Angel again because she, she's not only uh, with uh, SGA, mm -hmm. but you're also with the medical magnet program. When do you have time for, like, calculus and all that? Uh that's about one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? All right. Well, thank you guys. Very cool program. And it's good to see that uh, high school students are already figuring out what they want to do later in life and really starting to pursue that because, as you guys know, I didn't really even get into television until about six months ago. Let's talk traffic right now. Ken Smith, what's going on? Well, we can see what's left of this uh, earlier wreck this morning, this accident earlier. Jim. Hey, good morning to you. As uh, we are live from Popka High School this morning, got a great forecast for later today. Finally getting a little bit warmer, but still a little bit cool this morning. So as you listen to the sounds of the Popka High School band, let's talk about the weather this morning. 50 degrees in Orlando. It is 12 in Nashville, 21 in Atlanta. It could be worse, huh? A lot of high clouds in place this morning, but it even tried to rain on us overnight last night. However, we are only seeing a 20% coverage in the forecast for later today. Not a lot of rain. And now we're looking at Friday is the best chance of rain. About a 70% coverage in the forecast for your TGIF. Then over the weekend, around a 40% coverage for Saturday and for Sunday. And cooler weather by the end of the week, as you can see right there. Before we go to traffic, why don't we listen in for a moment to the Apopka High School Band as they wake you up this morning with their fight song. traffic right now and of course we are going to be doing a lot more for you live from Popka High School this morning so be listening in. I do have some really cool things about this school that are very unique to the home of the Blue Darters right now. Ken Smith, how's traffic looking? Right now we got a traffic alert. Cool school of the week. It's a Popka High School. Jim Van Fleet hanging out with the kids there. I feel like such a wimp, Tom and Heidi. You want to know why? this just in like we didn't know this? I know, I know there's many reasons why you guys would say it, but take a look at our wonderful cheerleading squad. They are ready to cheer for you here in just a little bit. Um, I'm wearing a hat and gloves, and I'm dying out here. These guys have got some school spirit, and uh, they're staying very close to one another, so they stay warm. Right, girls? Right. You're going to hear a cheer from them at 745, so do stay tuned in just a moment. Let's talk about the forecast right now. And today we got a lot of high clouds. Not a bad day. It's going to be a lot warmer, girls, this afternoon, 64 degrees. And then tomorrow we're back near 80 finally. 
but then we're back in the 60s after that. So it's a short-lived cool snap. Take a look at the, <laughs> who said that? Uh, we got some high clouds, as I said, in place for the day. It's made a beautiful sunrise this morning, and we will see just only a 20% coverage of a shower. 65 is where we're going in Kissimmee and St. Cloud, around 64 degrees in the Orlando metro. Tonight, not as cold. We'll get you down to the low to mid 50s. So tomorrow morning, not a bad looking morning at all. Just quite a bit of cloud cover should be hanging around by then. And then Friday, about a 70% coverage of rain showers expected. Looks like a wet Friday. And even over the weekend, some passing showers will be possible. So that is a look at the uh, forecast. Now, of course, you can stay updated with Live Radar anytime you want at myfoxorlando.com and click on the weather tab. And uh, Heidi, you were asking, of course, or a little bit earlier, what a blue darter is. It is a uh, of the hawk family. It's an uh, awesome bird, actually a very beautiful bird. And our mascot has so much energy. She is fantastic and uh, has a lot of cool dances for you when the band plays here in a little bit. Who's our leader? Who's our, our come here? You got to introduce yourself to everybody at home. What's your name? Becca. And what's your, of course, senior, right? Yes. Are you going to cheer in the college level, do you think? I'm um, hoping so, but not really sure. Do you know what college you would like to go to? Um, USF or UCF. USF or UCF. Yeah. So not going to be a Gator girl, huh? No, I'm not smart enough for that. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't, don't say that. This is Popka. You got a lot of history here. Oh, it, don't say that. All right, we'll talk to you guys in just a little bit. 745, we're going to hear your cheers. Stay warm, girls. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Let's talk traffic right now with Ken Smith. She could be in the news business. She's got the same kind of thinking we do. Yeah, she does. And uh, right now, we're going to uh, quickly talk about these heavy delays. Tim Van Fleet hanging out at a Popka High School. It's not chilly. It's freezing, right, girls? <laughs> they, they said it's chilly back at the studio. That's because they're sitting in the warm studio. That's why. And they got the nice warm coffee. Good morning from Apopka High School this morning. Home of the Blue Darters, our cool school of the week. You're going to hear from the cheerleaders in just one moment. Let's talk about the forecast. As you saw, really a nice sunrise this morning. A lot of high clouds hanging around. And this is uh, actually a warmer forecast for you. Now it's kind of cool starting in the 40s, but at least it's not the freezing weather we saw yesterday for a lot of your communities. Now today, look at that. It is uh, 18 in Nashville. 18 in Nashville. No, thank you. They can keep it in Tennessee. Beautiful state. Love it. Let's talk about what's going on, though. Look at the uh, weather coming in around Oklahoma, Texas, the snow that's hitting that area. That's our weather maker that will be here on Friday, giving us a good chance of rain by the end of the week. That our, our portion comes across the Gulf, though. And we'll be here uh, probably Friday morning, what we're looking at. 62, lots of high clouds staying through. They'll, they'll stay pretty high in the atmosphere. So I uh, do expect breaks of sunshine today and only about a 20% coverage of a quick sprinkle. Not really looking for showers, not looking for storms. But by the weekend, that may change for you. About a 40% coverage is possible. Before we go to traffic this morning, why don't we take a listen to our Popka High School cheerleaders who, of course, cheer on all levels of the sporting events. Who The uh, girls basketball did real good last night against University High School. So take it away, ladies. HS, we are the best. 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 A Popka High School this morning. We got more for you coming up. Stay tuned. I got the drum line coming up next. So those of you who like a little music, get your toe tapping in the morning. You definitely want to stay tuned. You won't need coffee when you hear them in just a moment. Thank you girls so much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. In fact, you got the drum line waking you up this morning. You don't need coffee when you got a nice drum line like this. Let's talk about that forecast for today. It is going to be a nice afternoon, warmer than it has been in days. In fact, we're on our way to about 64 degrees. Well, we're looking for rain on Friday, about a 70% coverage of rain and about a 40% coverage for Saturday and Sunday with cooler weather moving through. I got more for you coming in just a minute. Wanted to show you real quick the Varsity High School Apopka football team district champs right here. They went to the second round of the playoffs. Say good morning, everybody. And, of course, we do uh, have plenty more for you all next hour as we're live from Apopka High School. School, our cool school of the week. Ken Smith, how's traffic looking? All right, right now we're taking a look at I-4 at Lake Mary Boulevard. We got an extra 25 minute delay. No, 65 around Melbourne and 66 around Grant and Palm Bay for the day. 62 in Daytona Beach tonight. Not as cold, but also a little more cloud cover. Forecast for today only holds a 20% coverage of a shower, and we will see in the days ahead a better chance of rain. Now, as you look at the three-day forecast, we are forecasting about a 70% coverage of rain 
for Friday. I'll have more on that in just a moment. I want to introduce you again to Samantha Rizzo and some of the artwork here, some of the cool stuff the art club's working on. Tell me about a couple pieces here. Okay, a couple pieces is the murals we're putting up in the school so we can decorate the school a little bit better and make it more artistic. And Very another nice. piece right here is a piece from AP Sculpture and it's a texture switch. It's a sun fake sunflower with sunflower seeds on it. That's kind of cool. So Heidi, take a look. I want to give you a little sunflower because you're the sunflower oh. of our morning show. You're the ray of light. See Isn't how that nice sweet? he is? He's sucking Isn't up for some sweet? reason. What do you want, Jim? Right, Very cool, I don't though. need anything. I I'm not trying to manipulate anything. You're going to hear from the Culture <laughs> Club in just a moment. In fact, Tom, I know you know a couple different languages, which is why the news director hired you. Uh, yeah. But we're going to actually hear good morning right. in several... 40, 41 different countries and cultures represented See, I here. only know High 39 School, languages. High School alone. I understand. Move I only grow. know 12 myself. And then we're also <laughs> going to hear from our, super, our singers here in just a moment. So plenty more coming up. Stay tuned. Uh, one of the coolest schools around and about 4,000 strong, almost 4,000 strong. Right now, traffic time with Ken Smith. What's going on, buddy? All right, we're looking at slowing in Winter Park along a stretch of I-4. Some activity going on on I-4 westbound around Princeton. The reason why, you will find delays on one stretch, about 20 minutes, coming down between Lake Mary and Maitland, and then more delays an extra 10 minutes from approaching Fairbanks on down to about... So about 62 on the coast. I'll say partly cloudy skies, but it'll be those high thin ones, so plenty of sun will get through, and the wind today not too bad from the north at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Over the weekend, 40% coverage of storms both Saturday and on Sunday, and we'll talk more about that in a moment. Let's check right now on Tom and Heidi. If I can pull you back in real quick, I know it's probably pretty busy back there, but in six different languages, we're going to say right. good morning to everybody in Central Florida. So first, okay. Italiano. Hi, we... Ciao, bienvenuti a Papke School Spriotti. Very the nice. Part. Now in Chinese, uh, you got what? I got the chow part. We know that. Ni hao, huan yin lai da a Papka Gao Zhong. Very nice. Now in Korean. Annyeonghaseyo, a Papka Godungakyo Shinkasu Hanyangamnida. I got a Papka out of that one. That was very nice. <laughs> now Indian. Namaste, a Blokonu, a Papka High School Mahardik Swagache. And in Espanol. Buenos Buenos dias, dias, High School. I got that one too. I know Spanish. I remember that. I also took French. Like I said, 41 different cultures represented. Jim, you here, said so you also active. took French? You said you took I, I, French? I took four years of French. Say, say hello yes. in French then. Like they Bonjour. Did. I can do That's all I got. That's all I got. All right, frog. we got to get to our singers real quick before we get to traffic. Go ahead, guys. You have taught us to be sportsmen on the field of friendly strife. You have taught us rules of conduct as we play the game of life. May we ever heed your teachings, true and faithful may they be. And we pledge A wonderful Apopka singers live for you this morning, helping wake you up with the soothing sounds of their voices. Plenty more for you live as we continue our cool school of the week right here from Apopka High School. Let's check on traffic right now. Good morning, Ken Smith. And good morning and viva la traffic here as we take a look here. At That's his That's stick. His, he yeah, needs his, his big trademark. crazy hair back. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. Jim, where's your hair? It's like, it's like, it's, it's hidden because it's so cold. It's like Michael Jackson oh, with a white glove. He's gotcha. got to have the hair. <laughs> Hey, you listen to the sounds of the Apopka High School band behind me, and of course the Winter Guard is as well behind me this morning. And let's talk about the forecast, why you listen to the sounds waking you up. Getting the day started, it's about 50 degrees out there right now with a lot of high clouds. We've also got a couple of light showers this morning that have been trying to fall over Central Florida, but they haven't made it to the ground, and the cloud deck's been thinning out. So I think we're going to go with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies rotating through the day. A good looking afternoon, most of those clouds will be way up there too so the sun's going to get through we're going to get you to about 64 degrees 79 tomorrow then on friday a pretty good chance of scattered showers and storms at about 70 percent 40 percent coverage on saturday and sunday and cooler weather by the weekend am i getting i almost got hit i almost got hit this morning but they're doing really good not hitting me and playing you a nice little song this morning it's a school fight song Plenty more coming up from Apopka High School in just a couple of moments. Right now, let's check on traffic conditions with Ken Smith. All right, we're looking at I-4 at Fairbanks Avenue, and unfortunately in Winter Park, pretty slow and go. We had an earlier... Seeing streaming across your screen are high clouds, so the sun will still break through, but it will be with us all day today. About 64 degrees in the Orlando metro, 62 on the coast in Daytona Beach. A little bit cooler than that for Flagler Beach, but about 65 down around uh, areas in Mel uh, Melbourne and Palm Bay. Overnight tonight, not quite as cold as it is this morning. It'll still be cool. 
but then we'll warm up into the upper 70s. As you can see on your forecast for the coast tomorrow, mid 70s and about a 70% coverage of rain for Friday. Now, as we come back out here live, I want you to meet Colonel Maldonado with the ROTC. Tell me a little bit about our core here and some of the students and the involvement they have at the school. Well, we do a lot of leadership stuff. We do color guards, we do Zellwood, we stand guard for the basketball games. Um, this is not necessarily, you don't have to join the Marine Corps or any branch, but it's basically really a leadership course and it's great to take it during high school. And a lot of these students will actually be joining the forces here as soon as they're done with high school. Headed to the Marines, a lot of you, yes? Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at that, they call me sir. <laughs> That's never happened in ours. And by the way, a sword, do you ever, you haven't hurt anybody with that, have you? No, sir, it's not. Not yet, not yet, not yet. I'll be nice and because I don't want to rather it. Our ROTC, as they wish you a good morning, Central Florida. We got the um, cheerleaders doing the weather next. Stay tuned for that. We'll be right back. Ken Smith, what's going on in traffic? All right, we got uh, too many cars out here on I-4, not enough highway to accommodate everybody. It's starting to loosen up. We had an earlier problem down around Princeton. That has since been cleaned up, but still these delays off. That's right. The hat on. It's easy for us to say sitting inside. It is. It was cold this morning. It was like 42 out here, but it's starting to warm up a little bit. So quit making fun of my hat, okay? Now, we're going to talk about the weather. I'm going to have the cheerleaders give you a forecast in just a second. Let me tell you about what's happening down in the next couple days. We got uh, about 50 degrees in Orlando. It's been colder here all morning in Apopka, but look at that, 13 in Nashville. Now, see that snow over Oklahoma and Texas? That's our weather maker that's headed here by the end of the week, going to give us a good chance of rain on Friday. In the meantime, a lot of high clouds and on our way to about 62 degrees on the coast with not a whole lot of wind on the coast, but still the seas are building. So uh, boaters be uh, watching about three to four foot seas later this afternoon. Take a look at our weather baby. I want to show you real quick uh, our weather baby of the hour, and then we're going to come back out here live in just a second. This is Mia Sartori. Isn't she just a cute little girl? Look at that baby in her pink. She's sleeping. Thank you guys for getting that to us. Go to myfoxorlando.com and click on the weather tab to get those pictures uploaded. And don't forget, tomorrow you get to vote for your picture of the week. All right, Tom and Heidi, you got to pay attention to this. We've got our cheerleaders up here. and. This is how we tell current conditions. We're changing how we do weather here at Fox 35. What's it, what's it feel like up there? Well, it's about 45, 48 degrees up here. It's like a really cold wind chill. <laughs> she should have your job. All right, and then uh, get her down safely, all right? You gotta get her down safely and not take out a tooth. I could never do that. And then uh, what's the chance of rain, ladies? Um, there's a 70% chance that it's not already raining. They could so do my job. They could so <laughs> do this job. All right, that's our cheerleaders. We got everybody coming back at 855. We got the whole student body. We got this band. So if uh, you're just getting your day started, lucky you for sleeping in. But instead of coffee, we're going to have some music to wake you up here in just a minute. Wave hi to everybody, cheerleaders. All right, Ken Smith, let's talk traffic, buddy. All right, and I bet it's even cold. With all of his new friends, hey. Yeah, I actually have some out here. <laughs> you know, it's kind of cold at the news station every now and then, but that's a whole other story. Take a look at the forecast for today. Last time this morning, live from Apopka High School. A great cool school. We, we've had a lot of fun here. This is a great place to be out in West Orange County. Again, the day started with 50 degrees. I want to layer up at least to get the morning started, about 52 to top the hour. And we will end up at about 64 today. A lot of high clouds, but still thin enough that the sunshine gets through through the day and in your forecast about 70 percent coverage of rain on friday be ready for some wet weather by then 40 percent coverage of rain by saturday and sunday as we come back out here live this morning this is your student body your cheerleaders of popka high school you're going to be hearing from the uh, band in just a minute but i just got all right i gotta say can you believe this tom and heidi watch that if i fall I go blue daughters yeah Thank you, Popka High School. Great job today. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time on Cool School of the Week. Good thing he's not wearing a skirt. I was just going to say, if he gets on a cheerleader skirt, I'm leaving. All right, let's get a check on traffic now. All right, we're taking a look here this morning real quickly at an accident. This is going to That is next, your next newscast, Fox at 5 with Amy and Glenn. Right now, we're going to end by sending you back out to Popka High School, our Cool School of the Week.